Let's take a look at how we can use Excel as well as the TIBA2 Plus financial calculator to calculate yield to maturity. And you actually do need to use Excel or the or a financial calculator because this is a nonlinear equation. So you can't solve it algebraically. It actually gets solved using trial and error. It's just that the um, spreadsheet as well as the calculator do the trial and error, the guessing of the interest rate much faster than you can do it. So what exactly is yield to maturity? Yield to maturity is the interest rate that makes the present value of the future cash flows equal to the selling price of the bond. What are those future cash flows? Well, you get a coupon, okay, an interest payments, and you get the return of the par value. Now, you'll notice I've divided the C or the coupon by 2, and I've divided Y or the yield to maturity by 2. That's because I'm assuming semi-annual coupon payments. So instead of getting um, a coupon once a year, the annual coupon once a year, you're going to get half of it twice a year. So let's take a look at an example here. So suppose the par value of the bond is 1000 the current selling price is $1,125. The bond matures in 10 years, and the coupon rate is 7%. So what are you going to put into Excel, and what are you going to put into your financial calculator? Well, the future value is just the par value. The present value is just the price. You're going to need to adjust the number of periods um, in Excel to 20. That is, it matures in 10 years, but that's 20 six-month periods. And then what's your payment going to be? What's your, what are your interest payments going to be? 7% of the par value, so 7% of 1,000 is $70, but you're going to get half of that every um, six months. So. In Excel, the function is called rate. So you have to type in the equal sign, type in rate, and it tells you what to put in. So we're going to put in first the number of periods. I'm sorry, wait, I put in the number of periods is here, and the payment is 35. The price is our present value. You have to put this in as a negative number. And we're going to put in the par value as our future value. And you get 3%. Technically, we should expand the number of decimal places. This is actually a semi-annual rate. This is the y over 2. So you really should be, to get the YTM, you have to multiply by 2. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. So the yield to maturity here is 5.37 percent. How about if we want to do this in the financial calculator? Let's give that a go. All right, so all the information we need is right here. Actually, let me slide over here. Clear the um, time value of money um, workspace. So you hit second, clear TVM. So the number of periods is 20. The future value is a thousand. The present value is eleven twenty-five. We have to make that negative, and the payment is thirty-five. And then we compute the i slash y. And again, we're getting a semi-annual rate, so we'll want to multiply this by two to get the interest rate. So 5.368 or let's round off to 5.37 percent. So pretty easy to do, pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure that you make the adjustments for the coupon and for the yield and then you have to multiply this rate by 2 in order to get the yield to maturity. So easily done in both the financial calculator and Excel. So I hope you find that helpful.